All right. Let's stop. If we have some time at the end of class, I will let you continue to write. Now, does everyone still have this? The new Colossus. Before I went away last week on the service trip, I gave you a copy of this poem, and we began talking about it. The new Colossus. Okay. Let's remind ourselves what the title means. Everyone, Colossus. Colossus. One more time, Colossus. Colossus. Does anyone remember what Colossus means? Giant. Yes, giant. So it's someone that is very, very, very big. Big, yes. And how do you say that in Chinese again? <laughs> yes. The new Colossus. So if you have a new Colossus, does that mean that perhaps you have an old Colossus? If you call something new, that means you're comparing it likely to something that's old, right? Okay. So if there's a new Colossus, then there was probably an old Colossus. In fact, there was an old Colossus. We talked about that last time. The new Colossus is the Statue of Liberty, that beautiful woman that stands in New York Harbor, her torch held high, book in her left hand, welcoming immigrants to America, welcoming immigrants to the United States to build a new life for themselves. Now, would anyone like to volunteer to help me read the first two lines of this poem? Any volunteers? Diane, will you please help me? What? Who do we have? Ah, uh, see. Sassi, please stand. So would you please read the first two lines of this poem for us? Giant. Mm -hmm. With conquering. Mm -hmm. Excellent. That was great pronunciation. You said that correctly. A stride from land to land. Otsashi, oh, would you please say that one more time and speak a little more loudly? Okay. One more time for us. Excellent. Conquer. Excellent. Thank you. Everyone, conquering. Conquering. One more time. Conquering. Conquering. Now, does anyone remember what that word means? Conquering. Yeah, to beat someone. Uh, 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 uh. Right? <laughs> to defeat someone. Okay? To make someone your slave, you could say. Now, here, conquering is being used as what part of speech? For example, is it a noun? No, it's an adjective. And what is the job of an adjective? To describe the noun. Yes, to describe the noun. So here, the noun is limbs. So, so for example, what limbs do I have? Leg. I have my legs and I have my arms, right? So if my limbs, if my arms and legs are conquering, what does that mean about my arms and legs? They're probably strong, right? They're probably really, really strong with conquering limbs. Now, let's go back to the first line of the poem here. Everyone, not like. Not like. So, we've talked about the word like before, and how like can be used to make comparisons. Now, I take a nigga pijak, right? To make a comparison, okay? That comparison is called a simile. Everyone, simile. A simile is a comparison using the words like or as. Like or as. Okay? So here, we have a comparison using the word like. Not like the brazen giant of Greek fame, with conquering limbs astride from land to land. Question, what is not like the giant of Greek fame? What, John? Well, yes, that's what they mean, so they're not the same. So what is not the same? What two things are being compared? Any ideas? What is the title of this poem? Right, the new Colossus. And remember what I said at the beginning? If there was a new Colossus, then there must also be an old Colossus.
Colossus. So here, the first two lines of this poem, the new Colossus by Emma Lazarus, is comparing the old Colossus and the new Colossus. The new Colossus is not like the brazen giant of Greek fame. Is not like. They are different. The brazen giant of Greek fame. Now, brazen, also an adjective. What does brazen mean? How would you say that in Chinese? Well, there are a couple ways you could probably translate it. I translated it as huang tong de. Okay? So something made of, does anyone know what's called? Metal? Bronze. Made of bronze. Okay? So a bronze giant. Okay? Not like the brazen giant of Greek fame. Something from Greek culture, Greek history, Greek society that is famous. Okay. The conquering limbs astride from land to land. Everyone, astride. Astride. Sashi said that word perfectly. One more time. Astride. Astride. What does it mean to be astride? Yeah. So for example, when you're riding a horse, da -da 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 -da, your legs are astride, right? You tee the horse. Tima. Okay. When you ride the horse, you spread your legs apart. Okay. It means you spread your limbs. A stride from land to land. And as I mentioned last time, this is the old Colossus. The Colossus of Rhodes. The Colossus of Rhodes was a statue that stood at the entrance to the harbor of Rhodes. Rhodes was an ancient city, a city in ancient Greece. And the statue guarded the harbor. Guarded the harbor. So here, as you can see, the statue's legs are astride. They are spread apart from land to land. Astride from land to land. Now, this statue, oh, I already wrote it on the board. I was looking for chalk. The statue is not just a random person. This statue is a Greek god. Helios. Everyone, Helios. Helios. Doesn't that sound like a good name? Helios. 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 Maybe I'll name. Name? I just said name, didn't I? Name. Yeah. I've been in China too long. One more time. Helios. Helios. Helios is something. Oh, I like that name. I would name my son Helios. Helios is the name of the Greek god of the sun. The Greek god of the sun. I'm not awful. Apollo was the Roman god. Okay? So Greece and Rome were two separate civilizations. Okay? Helios is the Greek god of the sun. And here in the second photograph, you can see, if you look at his head, this is why I bought this umbrella, very handy. If you look at his head here, what is around his head? What is surrounding his head? Yes. It's light, it's the sun. You can see the fire of the sun surrounding his head. It's a symbol, a symbol of his power. A symbol of the sun, his power. And here again, you can see the harbor of Rhodes, and he is guarding it, his limbs astride from land to land. And here, of course, we have the new Colossus, our <laughs> Statue of Liberty. Any volunteers to read the second part, the next four lines? Or will I have to let fate choose? Would you please? Ah, uh, I was actually thinking of choosing you anyway, Itian I'm glad that fate is on my side. Would you please read the next four lines for us? Yes. Here a child is washed. Some sea gets sharp then. The mighty woman is the torch. Mm -hmm. The flame is the imprisoned by lightning. Mm -hmm. And her line, father of <laughs> Do you have a guess? At, yes, excellent. Exiles. Exiles. And how do you say this word again? 